Right, about an hour ago I stuck the uh, Radeon Pro WX7100 card in. Uh, now I'm basically just running a, uh, like a city I've had knocking around for years. Um, it's on the city engine, so it's just what I've done is uh, I've got um, VRA running, uh, VRT running uh, in active shade mode in a window here. So I'm just obviously now it decides it's going to save because of course it is. Um, once it stops saving, uh, I will show you what we do. So, I've, what I've got here is I've got a couple of cameras. Um, so, I'll change this over, we'll see how fast it when you do that when you put that one on. So, it's <laughs> this is actually uh, the less powered of the two cards, right? And this one is pretty damn fast. Now, the mind boggles at how fast the Fire Pro W9100 W9, is going to be, being a 32 gig mm -hmm. card. So, um, in fact, let's just kill that window entirely right, and start it up again. So, I don't need to do too much of this, it's just me out of perspective on things. Now, I'm going to go boom, active shade. Right? Now, let's try changing the window size a bit. You need to change the camera over. Sometimes I've noticed um, that you've got to refresh things because if you don't do it properly, it'll do it. But if somebody's got black, so what you do, you change cameras. And then you go up the doing. And this is nothing to do with the card, by the way. This is just um, the fact that this, my system is still catching up, right, with the, uh, the whole situation of it. So. Now it works, now we'll go down to the, uh, the uh, drone camera. So, yeah, so I've got all these different jobbies, right? So I like that shot because I think it's quite nice. Although, um, if I bring this up, close all the crap I don't need. Uh, this is at 8,000 currently. I will probably bring that to 10, and it'll be a little bit better. Um, I, depends what you want, you know what I mean? You don't want to write down. But, so if I just make this as big as I can, See how long it takes to refresh. So that's not too bad at all. That is perfectly usable um, for working with. Uh, I'm very impressed because normally in my old car, the 550Ti, uh, I would still be waiting. I'd be waiting about five minutes, but I don't think many people are using cars that is, are that underpowered at the moment. Um, now I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to bring something else in which I know it is very heavy. Okay. Okay. So I've loaded up this model. Um, the Dirk Cathedral one that I did for FX PhD many years ago. Now I can use this because it's not a tutorial. But um, yeah, this is a very heavy model. So let's just, first of all, I've stuck some, had to stick some, stick some new lights and relight it in about 12 minutes. Uh, because it was originally set up for mental race. So. I'll just wait till it does its seam translation thing because obviously with this being a heavy model it takes a little bit longer than uh, than usual and once it does that you can change through all the cameras now there is some textures missing uh that because it was done a long time ago and the textures are god alone knows where so you know we'll just have to deal with that so um in this case i'll, I'll just make that a proper camera in case i want to come back to it control c let's make the camera we have lots of cameras in here. There's a shadow of cameras. So once it stops the saving thing, because I used to have a script that ran, uh, that stopped Max from auto saving. I know you can do it from the menus, but it was a bit more of a, uh, a pain in the arse. So these are all, this is where you can see that all the floor textures are missing. Um, these ones, obviously not lit for these views. At all, but um, now I can get the uh, the lights here. Let me just stick um, some of these on the side that are they're not um, on much. I'm gonna have to put this over here <laughs> because it's uh, we do all sorts of stuff. We can take the sun in from outside. Well, some take a bit longer to, you know, process and stuff. 
because there's a lot of bouncing around. This is GI, you know, going on here. Um, it does work, but it takes a while. Uh, so if we take that, and this is the one at the back, so if I suddenly hit 25, it'll lighten up the image considerably, but flatten it. Right. So if I've got this one, we've got that one there, we can do a 25 on that light, we'll find a way to start. Oh, there it is. So we can put this one, we could do a 15 on that one. We have these ones at the back um, as well. So this one here, if I went uh, two, that'll put a down of light from, come from up there. And stuff like that. We've got nothing really to catch the uh, reflection on this because these shaders aren't really supported by V-Ray because this was set up in Mental Ray many years ago. Um, but again, you know, if I sort this out, and, you know, I can change cameras on it again. So there's a one from before. It's not taking a long time to do things. Uh, I am very impressed with this card. That's the short version. Uh, hopefully, you know, you can, my excitement is coming over somewhat and you can see where I'm coming from. But yeah, I'll be doing, this is just an initial, I've just put it in, let's see what happens, sort of thing, okay? There is one test I do want to do though. Okay. Yes, I thought I had to try it in Mudbox, because Mudbox is, you know, although it's, let's face it, it's dead in the bloody water now, all right? Uh, now this one, the Digital Double Me, I did ages back. Now, Mudbox, unlike ZBrush, runs from mostly the GPU. Um, so obviously this is a better graphics card than I've ever ran. Now the test I, test I do want to do is not only this card, but of course the W9100 with 32 gig of RAM. Uh, now I'm getting, you know, stupid frame rates down here, like 80, 154, and you know, that's about 8 mil. Um, let's just see what happens if I try to subdivide it again? Normally, the entire machine would reboot. And I know that, I'm just, I'll lose the entire video. Uh, I've got a feeling it may actually work. Now, if it works on this, it'll be interesting to see how high it'll go on the other one, the 32 gig card. It's looking very promising. So now it's at 32 million, um, which is... You know, I'm still getting a hundred and odd uh, frames. I've got the working, but it's to one side, so I can't really sculpt with this uh, the way it is at the moment. It's, you know, I'm not even aware the heck this is at. You need to take this. You know, that bloody hell is that? Because I'm stretched right over one side here, the way it is at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Let's just put a... Uh, oh, of course, I need to, uh, first of all, select it. Because, if, you know, I want to do this with a bloody mouse because it's easier. Then I'll put that there, make another layer like this. Then I've got to deselect it. And you could deselect it by hotkeys, but right now I can't remember what it is, which is shocking. Um, now it is a little bit slower deselecting here, but so that's, you know, to be expected really. All right, let's just see what the heck it'll do on this. Will it actually sculpt on it? Yeah, a bit of scope on it, all right. So there we go. Now, the million dollar question. Uh, will it subdivide again? Well, um, you'll notice there's a bit of an abrupt cut in that video uh, there. That was because I went to subdivide it again, which would have taken it to 130, whatever the hell, million polygons. Um, and it froze the entire machine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's taken me about an hour to uh, basically get the graphics card and make it scream for mercy. Um, what I have noticed as well is that um, the fan doesn't really seem to kick into high gear or anything when it's under a lot of stress, uh, which I'm quite impressed with. Um, it's so far this is nothing dear one initial. Let's see, you know, roughly what it can do, sort of stuff. Um, so I'll be pushing it a lot harder this week uh, with work stuff and keep putting it in mute and things like that, you know what I mean? So um, we'll see, you know, how it all sort of goes and all that. So yeah, there'll be a, a video midweek. What I might do is uh, the Nuke series may go on slight hold until I've got these videos out of the way because otherwise it's going to mean five videos a week and I do actually have to work as well. 
So anyway, uh, I hope you found this one useful um, about this card. So uh, we'll keep on going with this one until for about a week and see, you know, what sort of change, which I expect to be quite dramatic when I put the W9100 in with 32 gigs of RAM. Right, I'm William Robson. Bye-bye.